Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juan Carlos Monsalve. Today is uh, December 24, 2023. The time of this recording is 7.23 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, this free information is for entertainment purposes only. If you decide to use any of my strategies, please be mindful that they may not work 100% of the time and then you may lose money. For all the scorecards, uh, including today's uh, game, visit my website, juancarlosmonsalve.com. If you want to support my work, if you want to support my channel, you can do it at paypal.me backslash juancarlosmonsalve12 for a website, buymeacoffee.com backslash juancarlosmonsalve or a cash app app, cash app, uh, dollar sign Juan Carlos Monsalve. You can also, to support my channel, you can please give it a like to this video, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share uh, this video with your uh, friends um, to watch the video, sit back and observe. I recommend for you to uh, watch this video in a big screen, could be in a computer or in a um, on a TV uh, to be able to uh, see uh, better the numbers that are on the screen. We start with $25 bets. Uh, we are looking to win at least five original bets or $125. We use two systems, uh, the Monsalve betting system and Martingale betting systems. Uh, we don't reset a fair win in the Monsalve betting system and we stop as follows. After one loss, if we reach our five unit target, or after one loss, without reaching the five unit target plus one win when we reach the target. We continue, if we have one win without reaching the target, and the, the five unit target, plus one win when we reach the five unit target. That means that if we, uh, the first win, we don't, we don't have the target yet, and the second win, um, we continue playing since we looks like we, uh, we started a, a winning streak. So we want to take advantage of that. The bets are as follows. So $25, $50, $100, $200, $400, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $
you know, contribute, you can do it in any of those sources that I just mentioned to you. Um, the scorecard that I use, this is uh, the scorecard that I use. Um, here I enter the information for player is uh, number one or blue. Banker is minus one or red. Uh, a tie is yellow or zero. And here it's going to tell me if it's a winner, player, banker, or a tie. Uh, this is the way that I'm going to play the shoe if it starts with a player. This is the, the formula that I use, the strategy that I use for player. When it starts with player, this is the strategy that I use when it starts with banker. I notice that there is a difference when, I start, when it starts with player and when it starts with banker. And I have a combined one. I combine my play, my play, and my play. Those are three different strategies. Two different systems, Monsalve and the Mar Monsalve betting system and the Martingale betting system in all three of the strategies. All this uh, spreadsheet is calculated, is uh, formulated to, ca to do the calculations. And uh, the original way that I was uh, collecting the information and putting it in the scorecards, every two, every three, all the way to every 11, those are 10 additional scorecards that you can use to create your own strategies. And, uh, and the purpose of this uh, spreadsheet is for you to have access to many, many games, many, many shoes that we play here in um, online or um, that I record. I do this work for me, but I decided to share this information and these findings with you so you can use it to verify and uh, and see if your current strategies work and how often they work. Uh, that information is, uh, is, is at the casinos, but if we don't go and stand there and collect the information, um, uh, then we don't have access to verify if our current strategies work or don't work. My own strategy is a work in progress. I don't have... Uh, 100% uh, 100 guarantee that, uh, that they work 100% of the time. So it's still a, <clears throat> excuse me, it's still a work in progress. And, um, but we're trying to adjust the strategies and also adjust the, the way that we bet those amounts to when we go to the casino, we already have some experience doing it. So we want to start now. The first thing that we do when we start is uh, to burn one card. Um, so we burn the first card. This is the six of hearts. So we burn six additional cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we enter the information here. Six of hearts. I don't use this information, but for those who use the barn card and the number of cards that are barn at the beginning, uh, the information is there available. So you want to uh, use that information, you are welcome to use it. I'm going to uh, put the uh, discard tray there. So I have the eight decks of, uh, uh, of eight decks in my. Uh, deck holder here and the discard tray here so um, we're going to start with the first hand so first card for player first card for banker second card player second card banker okay i have a seven and banker has a four banker gets a third card the third card is a zero so it remains at four so seven Four. So this is a player hand. So this is a player hand. Uh, I just start my um, my my play. I started with with player. The reason why I start with player is because since I started playing this game seven. Uh, about 45 uh, games uh, ago, uh, most of the play, most of the games have started with player. That's why I choose to uh, play player for the first hand, and I have already uh, the strategy for play when it start with player here, when it start with banker here, and when it uh, when it start with with a tie, or when I want to use the combine 
Player and Banker. Um, so this is the strategy that I use for that purpose. Um, um, so I don't have to make any changes to the strategies. I will keep playing the here. I already made my first $25 with this strategy. I'm going to be focused on this area here. That is the strategy that I use when I play at the casino. The Mosabi betting system and the, my play, this one, when this when it starts with player. So we're going for the second hand. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Now banker has a natural eight. So zero player, natural eight banker. This is a banker hand. I was playing player, so I lost this hand. I lost $25. And this column here, it tells me if I'm winning, if I'm up, tie, or uh, or uh, losing hands. On so this one, I won the first one. I lost the second one, so here is a zero. So... So that was the second hand. Um, the next hand, I'm going to be playing banker. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. A banker has a seven on his stands. Player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a two. So uh, player has five, banker has a seven. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. Every time in the Monsalve betting system, the Martingale betting systems, every time that I lose, I double my money. The only difference between the two systems is that when I have a win, I won't reset my bet amount. I will keep betting this, uh, that amount until I lose and I double again. If I meet the criteria, if I the criteria is to win at least five units, if I have a loss, if I already have uh, my target, I will leave. I don't. I don't bet anymore. If I have a loss and a win, uh, and I got uh, and I and I have my my target, so I leave at that moment. Or if I have two wins in a row, I will st uh, I will keep playing. So sort of uh, the way that I'm playing those strategies right now. So right now it's five, seven. This is a, a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won the hand. Uh, my next two plays will be player and player. Two players in a row. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a zero. So he remains at five. The banker has a four and doesn't get any more cards. Um, so it's five player, four banker. So this is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. I won $50. So according to the formula, uh, I haven't met the criteria yet. I won $50 before. I won $50 again since I, dou I doubled my bet here. Uh, with the Martingale betting system, because it won the hand here, it resets back to the original bet amount that is 25. That is, that is why I don't like the Martingale betting system, because it takes longer to get those five units. I'm trying to get those five units as soon as possible, so I can leave the table. That's the, I think that that is the, um, what is not, what is the Martingale betting system a little bit uh, uh, not efficient to meet the target that we're looking for. So next hand, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Banker has a seven and a stance. Player has a one against the second card. The second card is a one, so it gets two, two player. Uh, banker seven. So this is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost this hand. I lost $50. I'm down to $50. Uh, so $50. I'm at $50. So I'm not having met the target yet after one loss. So I will keep playing. So my next uh, three bets will be two bankers. So three bankers in a row. I will be playing first card for player, first card for banker. Second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a one. Uh, so uh, total for player is four. 
and banker has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at three. Four, three, this is a player hand. I was playing banker, I lost his hand because I lost the one before. I double again, minus 100. Now I am down $50. And my next two hands, or my my next two plays, will be bankers. I will be clear. I will be playing banker for the next two hands. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a two for a total of six. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a five. So player six, banker five, this is a player hand. I was playing banker, I lost his hand. I Because I lost the one before, I double again. Now I am down 250 in the Martin Gelberin system. I lost the first one, I lost the second one, I lost the third one. I said minus 100 here, but minus 250 here. And because I lost this one, I will double again. I will be playing banker again. So first card, for, first card for player, first card for banker, second card player, second card banker, banker has a seven on his stance, player has a two and gets a third card, the third card is a seven for a total of nine, player nine, banker seven, so this is a player hand, I was uh, playing banker, I lost his hand, I lost $400, now I am down 650 and my next bet will be 800 since I lost that hand. So uh, my next uh, hand, my, my next play will be a player. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains a two. Two player, four banker. Banker doesn't get any more cards. Uh, so I lost uh, this hand, I double again, it was $800, so now I am down $1,450, and my next bet will be $1,600. Again, we are, we are testing these uh, strategies, we are playing with fake money, so... Let's continue. My next bet will be a banker. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains a two. Banker has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at um, it remains at three. So uh, player two, banker three. This is a banker hand. I won this hand. I was playing banker, so I won this hand. I won one. I won 1,600, and I meet my uh, my target here. My target is uh, three units of twenty-five dollars, so I made one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, with this uh, started the Martin Galberin system. With with this win, is one hundred dollars. You will continue playing because the, the target of 125 has not been met. So we will continue playing here. On this one, I won't be betting anymore. And it's already calculated. And I will analyze uh, the results. I haven't played for a while, so I lost a little practice here. I need to practice some more. So my next bet, I will be playing player for the next three hands. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a six and a star and a stance. Banker has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a one for a total of six. So six player, six banker, and this is the first... This is the first. Uh, 
and something happened here. I'm going to save here just to make sure I don't lose my work. So six player, six banker. This is a tie hand. This is the first tie of the, of the shoe. We have five players, five bankers, one tie for a total of 11 hands. My next uh, two plays will be players. My next two plays will be players, hand number 12 and hand number 13. If you are using my strategies, you have to make sure that uh, every uh, play here uh, belongs to that position. This has a position in this number of uh, hands play at the, uh, in the shoe. So I'm going to play hand number 12. There is a reason for that. I will be explaining or I will be making a video about that um, in the next few days. I'm going to be explaining some things on how I come up with these strategies so you can verify them and see if they will work for you. Uh, so my next uh, uh, two plays will be players. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. So player has a natural eight and banker has a three. So this is a player hand. Uh, I was playing player, I won this hand. On this one, it shows that I, the formula shows that I won 1600, but I think I, I'm not supposed to be betting here, so I'm gonna adjust it manually. I will correct the formula um, tomorrow. Uh, right now, it shows that I won $150. And on this, uh, on this hand, um, I'm gonna see because I see that I won here the first hand, I won here the second hand, and the rule is that if I have two wins in a row, I will continue playing. So with the Martingale betting system, I will continue continue playing here because even even if it was a tie here, I have the last two um, non ties uh, has been wins, two wins in a row. So I will continue playing here, but not here because I already reached a target here. So uh, my next hand will be hand number 13. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card player, second card banker. So I have another natural eight player and a four banker. So this one is a Player hand, I was playing player. I won this hand. On this one, there is no additional amount that I will be playing here. On this one, I won another $25. After this uh, win, it the Martingale betting system resets back to $25. Here, another $25, and I will keep playing since this is a winning streak. This is what I'm looking for um, with these strategies. Try to uh, get those winning streaks. But with the Monsalve betting system, I'm already betting. I'm already out. I will be out of the casino by now if I'm playing it at the uh, brick and mortar casino. So uh, uh, next hand, uh, have a three for player, and it gets a third card. The third card is a four for a total of seven. Um, banker has a six, and it doesn't get any more cards, only gets a third card if we get six or seven player third card. I will be making another video explaining more of how the, the cards are dealt. Those for new uh, for new people to back at, so how the cards are, are played. I still my I use my little chick chick here. Uh, sometimes I have to refer to this card just to make sure I don't make mistakes um, playing the cards. So seven player and six uh, banker so this is a player hand i was playing banker i lost this hand i still keep my 150 dollars here but i lost 25 dollars here from the 150 that i had now i am um, down to 125 
because of this loss. Uh, um, I and I reach my target on this one. I'm out at this moment with the with the Martingale betting system. It took a couple more hands to complete. Actually, I made one hundred and fifty dollars with ten hands played with the Martingale betting system, the regular Martingale betting system. It took me fourteen hands to make one twenty-five. Uh, right here. Um, on this uh, <clears throat> the Monsalve betting system, the second strategy is when the, the shoe starts with banker, and we when we started here, the first hand was lost. Uh, we here and here was uh, 125. Those are wins. One, two, three, four, five wins in a row. So we got this winning streak here. With the with the other with the second strategy, you can use any of these strategies. One one of the three I prefer to use this one when it starts with player, this one when it starts with banker, and this one when it starts with a tie. Uh, so on this one here, when he reaches the 175, because it is a winning streak, I will I continue playing. On this one was a tie. There is no movement here, but then one loss. And with that loss. With just one loss, we verify if we already have the target. And here we have 150. We um, won this uh, with this strategy. And the Martin Gelberry system also had a 150. So this one is out as well at this point. No more bets. And on the third strategy, uh, we have here the first win, the second it was a loss, then two wins in a row. Uh, when we have no no target here yet, then we lost 50 here. We down uh, 50, uh, then we won 100, and we reached the target here. When we have one loss and one win, and one loss without hitting the target, one win, we in reaching the target. We abandon the table at that moment. Uh, for the Martin Galbetti system, because it takes longer to reach the target, because we reset after the win. So uh, first win, one loss, then two wins in a row, no target yet. Then one loss, no target yet. And this uh, after this loss, we doubled. It was a win, 100. Then it was three losses in a row. And the three losses, uh, first 25, 50, 100, and then it was uh, the 200 here. It was a win. And this one was in hand number number nine, no, number 10. In hand number 10, we reached the target after one loss. For three losses, then one win. When we double, we got the money back, and we leave the table at this moment. Sometimes it's only it's only $125, but that was $125 in in just 10 hands, about $12.50. If this is too little, sometimes $125 is not a lot of money. But if uh, let's say that if you are in a $25 table, if you are in a $50 table, this win because we are talking about units will be double. It will be 250. You are paying a $100 table. Um, it will be um, 500. Um, I like to start low because it can grow. We see that here, here we went all the way to 1600 bets. So the lower I started, the longer I can stay at the table uh, because I don't know how long it's going to take me to get my money back. So, okay, this is, um, we're going back here to uh, the original. Uh, I already reached the target in all, with all three strategies. And I will continue playing here to hand number 15. So, uh, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Now I have a natural eight banker, and player has a one. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. I'm going to continue to collect the data because I use uh, my strategies are live. That means that they are not set in stone. 
I use the uh, every okay that was hand number 16 now we're gonna play next uh, for me my is gonna be a banker I'm gonna be playing banker hand number 17 so first card for player first card for banker second card for player second card for banker so player has a natural nine and banker has a seven so this is a player hand i was playing banker i lost this hand none of the strategies should be adding or subtracting any money since i already reached the target in all of them so my next hand i will be playing player first card for player first card for banker second card for player second card for banker player has a seven and it stands banker has a one and gets a third card the third card is a three for a total of four so player seven banker four this is a player hand i was playing player i won this hand um, on this column it tells me if i am up or down if it's in blue uh, means that, that I am up one, in this case one hand up on this one, uh, the second strategy, I am up five five units or five uh, more wins than losses and on this one, on the third one, uh, I am up only one. So in all three studies, I am positive uh, in regards to uh, the number of hands one. Um, next one is going to be a banker for me. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card player, second card banker. Now player has a natural eight, banker has a five. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost his hand. My next play will be, my next three plays will be players. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a zero zero or banker also has a zero zero so the first card for player is a, the third card for player is a seven and the third card for banker is a four so this is a player hand seven uh, four this is a player hand i was playing player i won this hand my next uh, two plays again will be players so first card for player first card for banker second card for player second card for banker player has a zero and gets a third card the third card is a two banker has a three and gets a third card the third card is a zero so it remains a three so two player and banker three so this is a banker hand i was playing uh, player so i lost his hand my next play will be a player so first card for player first card for banker second card for player second card for banker player has a zero and gets a third card the third card is a six banker has a seven no more cards for banker so player six banker seven this is a banker hand i was playing player i lost this hand again no money is moving on uh, this uh, betting system, but since I already reached the target, my next uh, play will be a banker follow and then three players. So this one is a banker for me. Play, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a nine, and banker has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a three for a total of six. So player nine, banker six. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost this hand. Um, in this case, uh, uh, on the study that I'm following, that is uh, my play, um, I lost three hands in a row. That's why it's important to follow uh, my recommendations or my rules in regards to the Monsalve betting system uh because sometimes this uh, bet can grow too high um if i every time that i lose so that's why it's like hit the target and get out hit the target and get out that's my and get the money as soon as possible so uh right now it's not moving since we are not betting but this is what happened sometimes the any strategy that you use even if you follow a banker or you follow a player or the job, 
any so sometimes they the the strategy turns around and it, it goes against you so my next three plays will be player first card for player first card for banker second card for player second card for banker player has a two and gets a third card the third card is a zero so it remains a two so two player banker has a six and no more card for banker this is a banker hand i was playing player i lost this hand my next play would be uh, two more players my next two hands first card for player first card for banker second card for player second card for banker player has a natural eight banker has a two so this is a player hand i was playing player i won this hand now i am down to that uh, two negative two negative means that i have lost two more hands than those that i have won uh, so my next play would be a player first card for player first card for banker second card for player second card for banker uh, player has a zero i guess a third card the third card is another zero so it will mean that zero zero player banker six no more cards for banker so this is a banker hand i was playing player i lost this hand my next two hands i will be playing banker so first card for player first card for banker second card for player second card for banker player has a zero and gets a third card the third card is a four banker has a four and he gets a third card if we get anything from two to seven so the third card for banker is a nine so he reduces it to three so by player four banker three and this is a player hand i was playing banker i lost this hand my next play will be another banker so first card for player first card for banker second card for player second card for banker player has a seven and it stands banker has a three and gets a third card the third card is an eight so it reduces it to one so player seven banker one this is a player hand i was playing banker i lost his hand now i am down five five uh, five hands on this shoe my next uh my next two plays would be players so first card for player first card for banker second card for player second card for banker player has a six and it stands banker has a two and gets a third card the third card is a four for a total of six so six players six bankers this is a another tie this is a tie number two we have 16 players 11 bankers two ties for a total of 29 hands play uh, my next uh my next play would be a player. Um, anytime that we have a player, if the next uh, is different than the one that we just got a tie, we have to move the money. In this case, it's the same player and player here, but I have to move. That tie is also occupying a space in my strategy, so I need to move the money to whatever it says my next uh, hand is. So my next hand is, will be I will play be playing player. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Now player has a four, banker has a natural eight. So this is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost this hand. My next play will be two bankers. So first card for player. First card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is an eight. So for a total of three, uh, five plus eight, 15 plus eight, 23, meaning three. And banker has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a four for a total of six. So player three, banker six. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next play will be a banker. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card player, second card banker. 
player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a seven for a total of zero. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a zero. So it's also um, uh, zero, zero. This is another tie. Um, yeah, another tie. So we have 16 players, 13 bankers, three ties for a total of 32 hands. I like to repeat the total of, uh, after every tie that, that I have. That's why I go back here. These are the titles, the total of number of players, bankers, ties for a total of 32. My next hand, I will play a player for the next two hands. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Now player has a natural nine, banker has a three. So this is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. My next play will be another player. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card player, second card banker. Banker has a seven and a stank. Player has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a five for a total of seven. So this is another tie, seven, seven. Um, so we have um, another tie, 17 players, 13 bankers, uh, four ties for a total of 34 hands. My next play, again, I will be moving my money. If I'm playing, if I'm betting, I will move my money from player that I had it here in this hand uh, to the next uh, space that is uh, a banker on hand number 35. Um, so my next play will be a banker, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is another five for a total of zero. And banker has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a, another one, so it's a total of two. So zero, two. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next two plays will be two players. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Now banker has a natural nine and player has a five. So this is a, a banker hand, I was playing player, I lost his hand. My next play will be a player. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player. Second card banker. Player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is an eight, so it reduces it to one. And banker has a zero, so it gets a third card. The third card is a seven, so one, seven. This is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost this hand. My next uh, place, I will be playing four bankers in a row. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a nine, so it reduces it to three. Banker has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains a one. So player three, um, banker one, and this is a... Player hand, I was playing banker, I lost his hand. Uh, my next uh, my next three plays will be banker. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card player, second card banker. So by player has a natural eight, banker has a one. So this is a player hand, I was playing banker, I lost his hand. My next two plays will be bankers. So, first card for player, first card for banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a three for a total of seven. Banker has a six and doesn't get any more cards. So, seven player. Six banker. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost this hand. 
my next play will be a banker so first card for player first card for banker second card for player second card for banker uh, player has a zero and gets a third card the third card is a one banker has a zero and gets a third card the third card is a seven so one player seven banker this is a banker hand i was playing banker i i won this hand my next play will be three banker three players so first card for player first card for banker second card player second card banker uh, we have two sevens uh, seven player and seven banker this is a tie hand i have 20 players 17 bankers five ties for a total of 42 hands my next uh, play will be i will be playing two players in a row so first card for player first card for banker second card for player second card banker player has a three and gets a third card the third card is a three for a total of six banker has a zero and gets a third card the third card is another zero so it remains at zero so player six banker zero this is a player hand i was playing player i won this hand my next play will be a player so first card for player first card banker second card player second card banker now player has a natural nine player has a one so player one if this is a player hand i was playing player i won this hand my next play will be a banker so first card for player first card banker second card player second card banker now player has a three banker has a natural eight this is a banker hand i was playing banker i won this hand my next uh, hand will be a player first card for player first card banker second card player second card banker player has a six and stands banker has a three and gets a third card the third card is another three for a total of six so six players six banker this is another tie we have 22 players 18 bankers six ties for a total of 46 hands my next two plays will be will be playing players for the next two hands so first card for player first card for banker second card player second card banker uh, player has a three uh, and gets a third card banker has a seven and stands Player has a three and banker seven. This is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost this hand. My next play will be a player. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a two. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a five. So this is a two player um excuse me no three player and uh, banker has five this is a banker hand i was playing player i lost this hand my next uh my next uh, four plays will be bankers four bankers in a row i will be playing let me record this uh, I need to keep recording just to make sure I don't lose the work. So, first card for player, first card for banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a six and it stands. Banker has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at one. So, player six, banker one. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost this hand. My next uh, three hands will be bankers. First card for player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a seven. Banker has a nine. So this is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. 
Uh, my next two hands would be bankers, first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker, player has a zero and gets a third card, the third card is a four, banker has a zero and gets a third card, the third card is a three, so player four, banker three, this is a player hand, I was playing banker, I lost this hand. My next uh, hand, I will be playing banker, first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Banker has a seven and a stance, player has a zero and gets a third card, the third card is a four, so four players, seven banker, this is a banker hand, I, I, I was playing banker, I won this hand. My next play will be a player, so first card player, First card banker, second card player, second card banker. Now banker has a natural nine. Player has a five, so this is a banker hand. I was playing player, I lost this hand. So my next hand will be a banker, first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, by a player has a natural nine. Banker has a zero, so this is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost this hand. My next play will be a player, first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, player has a natural nine. Banker has a seven. This is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. My next two plays will be bankers. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. So banker has a seven and a stance, player has a two and gets a third card, the third card is a zero, so it remains at two. So two player, seven banker. This is a banker hand, I was playing banker, I won this hand. My next play will be a banker. So first card player, First card banker, second card player, second card banker, player has a zero and gets a third card, the third card is a zero, so it remains at zero, banker has a one and gets a third card, the third card is a three for a total of four, so zero player, uh, four banker, this is a banker hand, I was playing banker, I won this hand. My next play will be, will be a player, so first card for player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a once and gets a third card. The third card is a three for a total of four. Banker has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a five for a total of seven. So player four, banker seven. This is a banker hand. I was playing player, so I lost this hand. So my next play will be a banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a once and gets a third card. The third card is a zero. So it remains at one. Banker has a four, so no more card for banker. So player one. Uh, banker four, this is a banker hand. I was uh, playing banker, so I won this hand. My next play will be a, a player. So, first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. My player has a seven and a stance, banker has a seven and a stance, so this is another tie, seven player, seven banker, this is another tie, uh, players, so we have 26 players, 27 bankers, seven ties for a total of 60 hands. My next play will be a banker, so first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker, Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is another zero for a total of zero player. Banker seven. So this is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. 
my next uh, play will be a player. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at five. Banker has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a six for a total of five. That's good. Six plus one, total of seven. So five players, seven bankers. This is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost this hand. My next uh, play will be a banker, first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Um, player has a natural eight, but a banker has a natural nine. Natural nine is better than a natural eight. So this is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next uh, hand, my next play will be a player. So, uh, first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, player has a natural eight. Banker has a six. And um, no more cards for either one since we have a natural. And because we have a, well, we have a natural eight player. So this is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. My next two plays, or yeah, if I'm betting, my next two bets will be two bankers, but there is no money on my money system, my money management system, since I already uh, exit the table. I shouldn't be playing, but I'm playing right now since I'm collecting the data. So now we have a natural eight player and a natural eight banker. This is another tie. We have 27 players, 30 bankers, a tight for a total of 65 hands on this shoe. A shoe usually has between 70 to 75, sometimes 76, 78 hands in a whole shoe. Um, I use eight decks, as the same as the casino uses. My next uh, play will be a banker. So first start for player. First card banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a two for a total of six. Banker has a six, so no more card for um, banker. Uh, banker with a six only gets a third card. If we get the player third card six or seven. So five, six player here, six player, six banker. And I will be making a video on how the cards are dealt. I will be creating a video to explain that to the people that don't know how to play the game or how the, the, the cards are dealt. Uh, basically, you don't need to know that information. It's a good thing to know in case that the dealer, you are playing by yourself with the dealer, that you can, you see that the dealer um, got a card that is not supposed to to get um, today there are some control systems that the casinos use to avoid any mistakes from the dealer but sometimes that can happen so you need to it's better to know than not to know so my next play will be a player first card for player first card for banker second card for player second card for banker a uh, player has a seven and his tanks banker has one and gets a third card the third card is a two for a total of three so player seven, banker three. This is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. My next uh, three plays will be three bankers. I will be playing banker three times in a row. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a zero. So it remains at five. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at zero. So player five, banker zero. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost this hand. My next uh, play will be a banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, Second card banker, uh, 
play it has a zero and gets a third card, the third card is a seven, banker has a zero and gets a third card, the third card is another zero. So player seven okay, second card for player. Excuse me, second card for banker. So player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a six, so it reduces it to one. Banker has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at one. So one player, one banker. This is a tie hand. Now we have 30 players, 30 bankers, 10 hands for a total of 70 hands. My next play will be, I will be playing two players in a row. So first card for player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker, player has a six and gets a third card, excuse me, it's a six stands with six, banker has a two and gets a third card, the third card is a five for a total of seven, so six players, seven banker, this is a banker hand, I was playing player, so I lost this hand. My next uh, play will be a player. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker, uh, player has a zero, and banker has a natural eight. So this is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost this hand. My next play will be a banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a natural nine. Player a banker has a zero. So this is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost his hand. My next uh, play, I will be playing three players in a row. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a six and a stance. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at zero. So six player, zero banker. This is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. My next uh, play will be player. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, player has a natural nine. Banker has a zero. So this is a player hand. I was playing player. I lost, uh, excuse me. Player hand, I was playing player, I won this hand. My next play will be a player. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a five for a total of eight. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a four. So player has a eight. Banker has a four. This is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. My next play will be a banker. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a six and a stance. Banker has a one and gets a third card. The third card is an eight. So the total of uh, nine, so player six, banker nine. So this is a banker hand. I was playing banker, I won this hand. Um, now I'm getting the, so the cut card. Since I already started this hand, I will do this hand plus one more. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, player has a three, um, banker has a natural nine. So this is a banker hand, I was playing player, so I lost this hand. My next play will be a banker. So first card player, first card banker, second card player, second card banker. So player has a natural eight, banker has a natural eight. So this is a tie hand. The way that it ended, uh, we have 34 players, 34 bankers, nine, 11 ties for a total of 79 hands. It can go between 75 to 80, 81 hands, that's in the most. 
Um, but in this case, 79 hands, it, it really ended tie. It's with 34 players, 34 bankers. That means that if we have played only players, we would have got 34. If we only play bankers, we got 34 bankers. If we are playing bankers only, the flat uh, bet, uh, I would have lost commissions on this uh, with this uh, 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 strategy of playing bankers or players only. Uh, right now, what it shows here is the totals of how much money I was down. I was down 1,450 on the Monsalve betting system on the strategy that I will be that, that, that I'm using or that I will be using. This is the strategy that I use when I play at the casino. And this is the Monsalve betting system. This is the ideal for me to use. If I don't have enough money for the bankroll, then I will use a regular mat martingale. So I was down 1,450 and with 1,600, that was the next bet. That means that I would have needed $3,050 available in my bankroll to be able to make 150. With this strategy, the martingale betting system, I was down $700. My next bet was 800 for a total of 1500 to be able to make 125. The second strategy, the one that starts with banker, um, I was down 75 and then I needed an additional 100 to be able to uh, to bet as they follow the next uh, bet. So I needed $175, so that's not bad. And the same amount I was needed with the Martin Gelberry system, I was down 75 plus 100, that was the next bet, a total of 175. With the other strategy, with the other strategy, I basically it was a good strategy because here it wasn't down anything. I just needed $100 additional to be able to make 150. With the Martin Gelberry system, I was down $75. I needed an additional $200 for the next bet for a total of $275. These two didn't go up too, too much. On this one, the one that I consider that is the best strategy for the issue, um, I was down a lot and I needed a strong hand of $1,600 to be able to, uh, to make $150. Here are the three uh, strategies that I use. One where you start with player, one where you start with banker, and the combine that I use when it start with the tie. If I go to the right side of the um, of the shoe, I see I have the different scorecards that, that you can use. Um, I used to go over these uh, before in my earlier videos. I don't do that anymore. I tried one of those strategies and I didn't like it. So I went back to my original strategies that are, are these. Those are the ones that I'm testing and I'm trying to uh, improve uh, with more shoes that I can play. Um, again, uh, for all the scorecards, including today's uh, uh, shoe that I just played with you or to you, uh, you can find them in my website, juancarlosmonsalve.com. If you want to support my channel, if you want to support my work, you can do it with PayPal at paypal.me backslash juancarlosmonsalve12 or a website, buymeacoffee.com backslash juancarlosmonsalve and um, a cash app. With Cash App, you can do it uh, with dollar sign, Juan Carlos Monsalve. That's my my ID there. If you need to send me an email, you can do it to Juan Carlos Monsalve12 at gmail.com. You can find my YouTube channel at Juan Carlos Monsalve1652 or my Facebook group, Back it Up Research. Please give it a thumbs up to this video. That helps me a lot. Uh, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share the video with you. Um, watch this video as many times as you want. Um, sit back and observe. You can sit back and just see what it happens when this automatically um, fills the information. This is all formulated. So that's a lot of uh, work that I've, been, uh, that I've done to these uh, spreadsheets. So we all can benefit from uh, uh, with that. 
and that's all for today. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask me through the comments on every video, or you can send me an email, uh, the, the email, juancarlosgonzalve12 at gmail.com. Uh, that's all for today. I wish you a Merry Christmas. Today is uh, Christmas Eve here in the United States. Uh, and um, uh, here in the United States, it's celebrated mostly tomorrow. For us Hispanics, we celebrate from the 24th all the way until the, the 25th, that is tomorrow. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I will see you in my next one, in my next video. Thank you. God bless you. Goodbye.